wrap it up, and then uh, go soaking. Then, inshallah, inshallah, soak away, soak all day, you know, just do whatever it takes. I don't know how long a soak session lasts for, uh, I'm assuming pretty quick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no orgasms might be achieved. Do you know the amount of line that's probably going down now? <laughs> You're like, uh, no, definitely did not orgasm, it's shrinking on its own. Okay, I don't know what soaking is, so I want to learn something. Okay, so please forgive me. Thing called soaking. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Kubi. And I just learned what it was. So, New York Post article says, What is soaking? The Mormon teen sex act gone viral. Okay. I don't know what it is. Uh, the article says the following. A new viral video reveals what Mormon teens are doing to get around the no sex rule. It's penetration without thrusting, an act known as soaking, and its hashtag has some 25.5 million tags on TikTok to date. What's more, in order for the couple to further benefit from soaking, a friend helps them out by bouncing on the bed next to them to get things moving, or jump humping. Quote, When I returned from my Mormon mission and moved to Provo, Utah, I heard rumors about soaking. This is so much kinkier than normal sex, are you kidding me? <laughs> I lost my virginity when I was like 17. Can you imagine what it would be like if it's like, all right, so what you got to do, see, is you, you put your penis in the vagina, but don't move because that's ungodly. And then what I'm going to do behind you, Lance, is I'm going to run up, grab your buttocks, and I'm going to start thrusting you because that doesn't count. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Which is when a male places his penis in a woman's vagina and... And that is it. God no damn, Mormons, y'all kinky. This is how you start out? This is how you lose your virginity? This is wild. <laughs> no thrusting. No orgasms. What? 36-year-old Gary... Wait, no orgasms? Impossible. I fail to believe that. I, I do not believe a single Mormon man, cis man, is putting his penis inside someone, and then all of a sudden, he's like, oh yes, definitely did not orgasm instantaneously. That never happened. Thank you for grabbing my buttocks and trying to thrust me into uh, my partner here, but this, uh, it just didn't work. I don't know what happened. Uh, I need to leave now. Harry Nauer, who lives in Oregon, told The Post, I talked to a few friends who had soaked... I hear that Mormons still do this. While on my mission, I had several discussions with- They jump on the bed, no grabbing the butt. Oh, sorry, is that is that a fridge too far? That That's that's the one that's going to be outrageous? Okay, so, uh, uh, pardon me, I, I forgot what a what a solemn and dignified spectacle this must be. So, again, you, you penetrate your partner while your friend behind you starts jumping up and down. Uh, is it in silence? Do you say anything? Do you encourage them while you're jumping up and down? Uh, do you pretend that you're on a trampoline? Uh, do you ignore the fact that both of them are probably like... I cannot orgasm or I'm gun godly. My fellow missionaries concerning sex in general, some talked about soaking, some would discuss that anal sex is also a way to keep one's virginity... Recall yeah, now. so that's the old, that's like, that's the, my generation, the, what I knew of the Mormons, that all the Mormons were into anal sex, because if they had anal sex, it didn't count as vaginal sex, and therefore it wasn't going to be sinful, even though, like, sodomy is not really uh, heavily respected in Bible terms, so there's that, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, a steady positive reinforcement, much like a spotter at the gym. Okay, well that's, I mean, this all sounds, I guess, wholesome, kind of, please practice safe sex, Mormons, I mean, if you're going to soak... Uh, wrap it up first, you know, put on a condom before you go soaking. Uh, you never know what can happen. I mean, I know you all have uh, mental fortitude, but who knows? Your friend might jump up and down a little too hard and might, uh, might land on that bottom thrust and who knows what, uh, who knows what happens or what kind of, uh, spirits will be released. Our who removed his name from church records in April 2020. So I've actually heard that last one before. That yeah, there were too. reports a long time ago, like a decade ago, of Christians who were doing anal and saying, it's not really sex because we're not reproducing, we're not doing it in those holes. So, it's, since it's the back... Okay, but what about all the other stuff? I mean, you're supposed to, like, there's there's a whole ladder. There's, it's the, I mean, sorry, I should I should use the other metaphor. There's a whole baseball game. What, what about, like, hand jobs and, and mouth things? Or even dry humping Mormons? Is that... Is that too much? Is, you can't even dry hump each other anymore? What's going What's going on? You're just going right for the soak? Is, is it something... I mean, you, I guess you have to plan for a soakage. You can't, like... Door. It doesn't really count. Now, they go on in this article, and I, there's a healthy dose of skepticism, which I think is merited, because I as well am skeptical, that... Yeah. 
Like, how widespread is this thing really? Probably not too widespread. But <laughs> as only he knows what he's doing. <laughs> How widespread is this thing? Come on, Kyle. What you doing here? Come on. How many euphemisms are you going to throw on this? Tried this shit? Thinking that they're like beating the system? <laughs> I would think so. Aren't you a soak dem? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a soak dem. No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm a dem soak. So, I mean, there's a difference. I would think so. I mean, what is there to say about this? Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm only two minutes into a seven minute segment. I hadn't I hadn't really planned hadn't really planned to talk about this for too long. But uh, all right, yeah, let's get into the mechanics of it. I guess uh, I'd like to bring in a few guests that can help demonstrate the process. To all my people who are listeners, the one percent of you in my audience who are actually very religious and take it very serious. Look, it could have been worse. It could have been called marinating. True true i mean i don't think either are good like a hey, baby you want to soak tonight ew a hey, baby you want to marinate hey that one actually sounds a little bit better it coming out of my lips just now and when i heard it out loud uh, marinate sounds a little bit better yeah I, I think it sounds classier obviously i have good news for you do you want to brine okay that's the worst a <laughs> hey, baby you want to pickle me tonight <laughs> I got some dill. I got some garlic, baby. Come over. It's time for a picklin. <laughs> God really doesn't care what you do with your people. He do of all the things happening in the true. world, true, true, children with cancer, true, natural disasters. But wait, if you believe in God, you got to believe that God is giving the kids the cancer, which is pretty fucked up. God, why'd you keep doing that? You give a lot of kids cancer. I don't get it. God, what's wrong with you? Dream poverty. Some wild percentage doesn't even have functioning plumbing. War. You think God is sitting up there like, hey, y'all, I better not see anything out of the ordinary with your with your naughty parts. Better not pickle. Keep it in your pants. Y'all better not pickle. Don't you dare have say. fun. This is the Lord your God. Have pleasure. Be happy. Experiment. Not allowed. Not allowed. And it's also hilarious because if God really is almighty and all-powerful, wouldn't he just think like, well, this loophole is illegitimate, so I'm getting rid of this loophole, and this is just as much sinning as regular sex is? Yeah, there's no loopholes. I mean, they act like God is the same as, you know, they act like God wouldn't see, like, the, the massive... No, they act like God is a principal or something, and, like, you can cheat on your exam, and it's like, oh, he's not looking. Don't worry. It's totally fine. Oops. Yeah, another successful marinade. Tax loopholes we have, for example. Like, oh, the rich should pay more in taxes, but if you have an army of of lobbyists and lawyers, you can get around it, and you can find a way to pay basically nothing in taxes. You know, God could see that and be like, you're still dodging the taxes, so that's... <laughs> I was really wondering how he was going to talk about this for seven minutes. God, <laughs> like, and never mind that, even if there was a God, what I used to know this number, but I forgot this number. How many religions are there? I think it's 2,000 something. 4,300 religions in the world. I was way off. That's pretty based. There are 4,300 religions in the world. How sure are you, you got the right one? Mm. Somehow you just have. I don't know. It's a popularity contest. You saw the Crusades. Into the, you know, through a Might makes right. That's how I determine which is the best religion. Uh, my, my closer to this is Mormons. Please, if you're going to soak, wrap it up. Wrap it up, all right? Wrap up your penises. Every single one of you, you know? Men with dicks, women with dicks, non-binary individuals with penises, who's ever got the penis in the equation, please put a condom on it. Wrap it up before you go soaking, all right? Because, uh, yes, even if you are not achieving orgasm, which I'm sorry, uh, press X to doubt on that one, but even if you're not uh, achieving orgasm, uh, there are still a host of things uh, that you are going to expose yourself to. Uh, STDs are one of them. Uh, you may become so excited that you uh, leak some seminal fluid in the middle of the soaking, uh, and that also could result in an unwanted pregnancy. You never know. Just wrap it up, wrap it up, and then uh, go soaking. Then, inshallah, inshallah, soak away. Soak all day, you know? Just do whatever it takes. I don't know how long a soak session lasts for. Uh, I'm assuming pretty quick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> no orgasms may be achieved. Do you know the amount of line that's probably going down now? <laughs> You're like, oop, oop, no, definitely did not orgasm. It's shrinking on its own.
Hey, do, do you do you like movies? Do, do you like do you like surfs? Do, do you want do you want do you want movies and surf surfs watching the movies? So then come over to the new channels. It's the surfs the cinema. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Can you do the thing? You know that uh, thumbs up and comment and all those things that help us out in the algorithm that controls every aspect of our lives. Also, if you happen to have a Facebook account, um, can you can you delete it? Like just just delete it. You should probably delete your Facebook account because it's just it's not a great company. But hey, if you can't do that for whatever reason, I understand. And uh, could you also go to facebook.com slash the surf times then and uh, give us a little like and a follow. We're just trying to push back against the fact that people like Ben Shapiro happen to dominate the platform entirely. And when everyone asks, why do older generations believe the things they believe? One of the problems is the majority of them on social media use Facebook. So to counter that, uh, we're just going to be on there too now. Also, if you happen to have a union or a worker co-op or even a leftist project podcast website, Zoom, MySpace, it doesn't matter. We will advertise it for free on this channel. All you got to do is go to wearesurfs.com and use the forms that we got there, wearesurfs.com. Thanks, everybody. To our gods, Xander Corvus and Peyton L. Just, may you shower us mortals with gifts from the heaven. To our monarch, Tom Spiker, we are your humble gestures, clowning around for your amusement. To our lord, Trevor R. and Alexander Thaler, we give you our thanks for this meager land for us to toil our seed. To our knights of the round table, Hegbard Sealine, Matthew Scarborough, Stellar Vision, Ariana McCarthy, Daniel Sutton, Ants are still running the world, Coulter Smith, Tom Grow, Val9000, Jenna Tal, Dark Puppy, Quiet185, Anna Loves Riley, Omni, Riley and Anna, Poodlehawk, The Tim Caucus, Multi Mondi, Trevor Janis, Lemmy101, Anthropophojack, Saren42, Chronic De Hemphog, Catherine, Radical Maniac, Ramon Acosta, Incosin, Violent Orchard, Sophie Baby, Political Puppy, Andreas Chiringuito, Zach Christensen, Josh Mickelson, Todd Buckingham, and Todd Lajeunesse. We raise our glasses and we salute you, our comrades.